Hi there, Taurus. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I have pre shuffled these three decks for you. I will be doing your weekly reading for October 9th through October 15th. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Um, I have started a spiritual group on Facebook. It's called Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds. There will be a link underneath. Um, my video for that if you want to subscribe or go there and be part of the group I do many live readings for free for people that comment of course I can't get to everybody but I get to quite a few of them if you want to go ahead there you might end up getting a free live reading and this is for the sign of Taurus Ooh. You'll have to get used to my, if you're a first time watcher, you'll have to get used to my oohs, ahs, and cursing. I have created a about me video. If you just scroll back a little bit throughout my videos, you'll see it about how I do the personal readings and about like who I am and how much I swear. It says a lot more, but this is you, the basis of your reading, which is fantastic. Ooh. So the Queen of Pentacles, that is the basis of your reading, which is fantastic because that represents you. That just tells me that you are feeling very comfortable with who you are. You're probably very confident this week. You're very dependable and responsible. You know, you're, you're just truly in your own essence this week. Um, Neck underneath here, underneath you, we have the Fool. It means starting fresh on something. It looks like you are make, doing something... Um, you know, starting fresh, uh, taking a leap of faith, having a fresh start in something that I think something has been weighing you down and you may have just let it go and made a decision and now you're starting over. Um, next to that, we have the Page of Pentacles. Maybe there's been delays and you finally decided, you know what, I'm going to broaden my horizons. I'm going to look at things from a new perspective. It's time for me to build a new foundation from the beginning because we have the Fool right next to that Page of Pentacles that tells me that you are about to start something new, okay? And it might be risky, all right? So this week, you may be just, you know, coming into your own and be like, you know what? It's a time of renewal for me. I'm going to just I'm just going to go ahead on whatever it is that comes to mind when I'm giving you this reading. I'm going to move forward with faith and trust. Um that may mean that you have to release something, okay? You may need to release something that has been inhibiting you. Something maybe you've been obsessed with, you know, maybe you've been to uh prudent about something and you maybe you have to leave that obsession behind. Maybe um you know, it's a thought. It could be a thought completely that is holding you back. So I definitely see that you need to look at something from a new perspective. And I think this week is things are going to happen. I think that with the full moon and the energies from the full moon that you are releasing things that no longer serve you. And you are looking at things from a new perspective, moving forward and being like, you know what? It's, it's my time. Okay. Um, there could be an unexpected choice in love with the lover's card. If you're already coupled and completely happy, there could be a resurgence of a relationship. If you are single, somebody could come in that is completely um, unknown. It's like all of a sudden they, they come into your life and you are all set. You have no uh, inclination of being with them. But the connection is so strong that you go in that direction. That's what this card is. The lover's card comes out when there's an unexpected choice in love. And it's out of the blue. Okay? And it is unknown. We have the unknown card here. When this card comes up, it is meant to be unexpected. This is something that you don't know. And it is right next to the lover's card in the Queen of Wands. It could involve um, a Gemini or an Aries or... A Leo or a Sagittarius person it could um, and you could receive some communication you could receive some communication out of the blue from somebody okay uh, and it could be regarding love somebody could have feelings for you that you didn't know about and and it is meant to be a secret until it happens so you can't guess who this is 
You can't. This is meant to be unknown for a reason so that it will make a big impact. When this card comes out, it means that it is meant to make a big impact on you. And it certainly is with the lover's card. It's something that you can't guess, okay? And I think it has to do with emotions. Maybe there's going to be a new beginning in love. And that could even be you. A new beginning in loving yourself. And that's unexpected. Maybe there's a new beginning of self-respect, you know? Um, because I see that you're doing the right thing for you. You know, you might be letting something go that uh, has been holding you back, weighing down very heavily on you. There could be even some legal matter matters that are ending this week, okay? But I see that there's some unnecessary drama that you can walk away from, and perhaps that what that's what it is. Maybe you're going to walk away from it. There's been some kind of obsession or, and resisting a change of some sort, but I think you might be leaving that obsession behind, being like, you know what, I can't, I'm done. But right here, because I see that you're changing this week. I think there's big changes here where you're just starting a new journey. It's like you're letting the past go and you're moving forward. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles. That tells me that you are start. You are about to get a gift, perhaps, from above. Could be from another person. But this is a manifestation. Perhaps you've been waiting for it, but it's a gift. Um on a physical level so it could be money you could be getting some money this week or you could be getting a raise you could be looking at buying something new that is big or you could be getting somebody could be giving you something um, I do see there's change there's definitely change and I think that you're gonna handle it just well just 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 fine all right um, Remember, don't quit. Don't quit on your fresh start. If any um, drama comes in, don't quit. All right? Keep going. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. I see that you want to start something new, and you probably are going to take the steps this week. You're probably going to take the steps to start something new, but there may be some delays. There may be some minor challenges, but I don't think that it's going to be a problem, okay, because I think this is something that you have been thinking about for a while. Maybe you have been imagining this fresh start, um, but we have the Seven of Cups here. It says, be careful what you choose, okay? When you get offered this gift or when you go to buy something big, make sure that you can afford it. Make sure that it's not going to impact your life in a very big way. Think twice before you do it, okay? Because this card, the Seven of Cups, says you must think twice, okay? You must think twice. And I think it has to do with something on a physical level before you purchase it. Um, and then it can also mean that you need... it. What I think is a lot of you have been focusing on your job, perhaps, and focusing on more money, more finances, more um, tangible things than intangible things. So I think this could mean that maybe you need to focus more of your energy on emotions, okay, and love, because we have this unexpected love here. Perhaps it's time. Many of you might be single or looking for love, and I think maybe the time is now for it to come in. But you need to make an effort. And that could be where the fool comes in. You have to take a leap of faith. You definitely need to leave something behind. And, and to start this fresh start, to start something new, to take this leap of faith, to take this risk, to fly into the unknown, you have to leave something behind. There are other choices for you, and I think that you are. I think a lot of you have been hung up on something. Perhaps it was lust, and it really wasn't love. Okay? And perhaps you're finally going to get over it, and you'll be like, you know what? I'm moving forward. You can't hold me back. I think it's time for you to start a new chapter. Something is ending. Perhaps you're, you've been thinking about somebody from the past. You've been reminiscing about them. Um, imagining what life would be like with them. Maybe they are the ones you need to let go is, is a past relationship. All right? Because it's been causing you chaos. It's time for a change. And you know that it is. All right, and I think that you're taking a practical approach. This week, it's like, you know what, I'm ready. I've learned my lesson. 
the lesson has been learned. I'm moving on. It's time for me to start my new chapter. You are letting go. That's for darn sure. Woo! Yes, you are. So we have a few tens here. Um, it looks to me, we have completion, 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 completion. So that's, and then we have the zero, the fool, something big is ending and a lot of it has to do with your mind. I think you're letting go of something from the past that has been holding you back in a very big way. Okay. And it could affect your home. You maybe some of you could be moving. Some of you could be, somebody could be moving into your home or out of your home, but your, it looks like your home could be changing. You could be upgrading. Something to do with your home is, is ending, okay, of your establishment. And if this, is, if this isn't your home, it could be a job. Whatever it is, it's something that you are highly invested in, okay, and it affects your family. But it's a completion. It's a big change in your home circumstances. And I think you're doing it by letting something go that has been really holding you back mentally, okay? These are burdens that have been, like, so heavy for you to carry. And you're like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I'm not. It's over. We have this full moon, and it's about change, and it's happening. And I think a lot of you are starting over this week from, from um, ground zero, okay? You're, you're starting from the bottom. Now we're going to get three of these. This is for Taurus. I don't see you guys uh, harping over spilled milk or crying over spilled milk much longer. I see a lot of you are going to take a leap of faith and start a new journey. Perhaps you're looking for more excitement. And you know, with that unknown card, it tells me that this new unexpected love that's coming in is meant to be unexpected. You cannot guess who it is. Okay, and it doesn't have to be a love partner. It can be anything that makes you happy emotionally and content. It makes you excited again. Okay, Woo! there they are. And exactly three of them fell out, and that's what I was going for. All right. So we have the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles twice. This is about manifestation, okay? I'm going to read it to you. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contract contracts this card means so much more than that okay this is a gift this is a gift from above it is abundance it is security it is stability but it's also new beginnings on a physical level it can be a new career it can be a new home it can be a new security it can be a new partner it can be money given to you this is something new you have it twice so I and it definitely could be a new home because we have this establishment here okay so many of you could be even uh, doing a major upgrade in your home all right or thinking about it or planning it this week but this is this can be a new partner as well we do have this Knight of Cups right here. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And it is connected to the lovers, okay? Um, in the new chapter of your life. And you, right here. So this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be your unexpected. But your unexpected is meant to be unexpected, okay? So you can't, you can't guess who it is. But this lets you know that you are doing the right thing by starting over. You are doing the right thing by taking a risk and having faith in the unknown, okay? Falling in love, the need to balance emotions, okay? This can all, this is, a, this is love, okay? This is all happening in the name of love. Five of Pentacles, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment, that's what the card says. This is about insecurity, feeling like you're on thin ice, and that's what you're letting go of because it's connected to this Five of Cups. That's why you're ready to jump into the unknown. I'm not going to let this insecurity weigh me down anymore with the Justice card. I'm not going to carry this around with me anymore. I'm moving with me anymore. I am moving on from this. I'm letting it go because it's time for me to start new. 
and it really is a blessing with the two aces of pentacles it is a blessing you will be abundant secure and stable so Taurus this week's looks pretty good for me for you I'm a Taurus too for me okay this week looks very um, very good like you are about to start something new fresh from the bottom and and you and perhaps you you're going to have to you know build a new foundation from the bottom up and this may be, be be the beginning where you just decide to let go of the past and move on talk to you later Taurus